We just wrapped up an interview with Sharon, who's the owner and director uh, at White Bohemian, which is literally that store right there. Oh, really? Yeah, we closed for a month and had, it, like, they gutted the shop. Oh. So everything is new from floor to ceiling. It looks fantastic. So is it to completely it. different to... Completely. Really? Completely, uh, yeah. I was up in Noosa uh, a couple of weeks ago, and that is, like, the style up there. Like, very boho, yeah. very, you know, a lot of this. It's, it's, it's super popular. It's definitely come around. Yeah, 100%. Like, I'd always done it. We'd always done it. Yep. But in the other store, in the old boutique, right. we had double the space, so we did a lot. Okay. It was all mixed in. Okay. So when I started this, that was my niche yeah. market. Was the online side first, or was it this... Uh, Retail was first. Really? Okay. Retail was first. Right, yeah. So then, yeah, then we started with a WordPress. WordPress. Are you on yeah. Shopify now? Shopify. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. So, it was funny, mm. Desi. I don't, did you watch that one with By D? That interview? No, I watched the custom sneakers. The custom sneaker one. Yeah. yeah. Desi was the other one that we did, and she said that when she started, she was doing the markets, and it, when she was doing the markets, much like it is with customer facing here, you got a feel for the customers, what they kind of liked, yeah. and then that really helped out with like future designs and whatever yeah. you were going to bring into the business. Yeah. Yeah. That's really true. So are, are, a lot of these yeah. dresses, are they designed by you or are we, no. are you stocking other ones as well? No, we, we stock Pretty much everything. brands. So yeah. yeah, lots of Australian brands. What's the most popular one you're stocking at the moment? Spell. Spell for sure, hey. <laughs> Spell for sure. Oh my goodness. Because they're based in sure. Byron, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Massive. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. Absolutely. Jeez. But it's, you know, they've created a whole lifestyle story behind their brand. Yeah. And I think that's why girls love it so much. And it's the, they haven't flooded the market and mm. it's first in best dress because they only produce so much. Yeah, and that's right. it's always the want, it's always the need. And it's just, no, it's not a quick turnaround. Right. So they're not quick fashion. They're, okay. They're all about sustainability. They're yeah, they are, yeah. Sustainable. Yeah. Um, so all their graphics are hand-drawn and love street. Tara's a local Palm Beach girl. That's this one. She does all like 60s, 70s. Yeah, five. wow. Do they approach you? Or do you reach out to some of them as well? Both. Yeah. Because when I started, I already had all the labels. Yeah. So it's just been moving and picking up new brands yep. as we go. Yeah. But a lot of the time I'm approached. Yeah. So, which yeah. is good. Interesting, hey? <laughs> yeah. 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 And what's the, um, the percentage of the business? Is it more, mm -hmm. obviously more so uh, retail at the moment or has it shifted more so to be online? It's both retail is really strong. Yeah. My store gets like hectic. Really? So yeah, there's usually two girls a day. Well, three, because I've got an online girl. I've got an office and warehouse as well. Yep. Um, so it can get crazy yeah. in here, which is, you just don't think so in little old Palm Beach. I bet. But you can walk in and it's like, whoa. Yeah. Like the really? shop, eight people and it's full. <laughs> so I'd have no idea so, about that. I know. Yeah. I remember when the builder first started coming in to check out the store. Every time he came in to see me, he'd be like standing up the front going, oh what my goodness, heck? what's going on? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Locals buy online, come in and pick it up. Because no. they don't oh, want to okay, miss yeah, out that's either. So good. They're scared of missing out if they don't grab it then. Yeah. So, and we refund online. Okay. So right. that we don't in store because you can try it, feel it, all that kind of stuff. But we exchange in store. So, yeah, wow. I think both. But I still definitely see more potential for online but that's why i'm really excited about today's interview yeah. because we can actually like talk about that that side because i i'm like my knowledge is so to one side of the spectrum which is all online and then everything yeah. to do with brick and mortar is just like like out of my realm so what did you do so we do uh facebook instagram and snap like social media ads yeah. for e-commerce brands yeah it's really just setting up strategies for brands and then for the brands that want to scale online yeah. so a lot of them have that established kind of like the foundations are there they've been spending a bit of money on ads already and then yeah. we kind of come in put our strategy in and then scale it up a lot of the time it's either businesses that might be at your stage they might be at the stage where they're doing a million a month they might yeah. be at the stage where they're doing like twenty thousand a month online yeah. and they're still at home 
yeah, and we kind of right. take them. It just kind of depends. It's been a lot of fun. But like 80% of the brands that we work with are literally fashion. Yeah, I yeah. That. that's That's why we reached out because we were like, it's, it's our audience is heavily predicated around, you know, the fashion industry, people wanting to learn about, you know, how successful business owners have kind of scaled their businesses. Yeah. And that's why I thought this was going to be like a perfect interview. Yeah. We kind of already have done the interview yeah, a, a little bit already, <laughs> eh? She was phenomenal. That was so, so cool to hear. A bit of a different side that we haven't kind of heard before, which is in regards to not just online, but retail store too. So this is some of the content. This is what I've been talking about before with the top tier show. We have so many big brand owners, just like Sharon, as well as a lot more to come that's gonna be featured on the show. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's probably all going to get released uh, around July. So July is when it's all gonna start coming out. But just wait and see. The, the content and the education you guys are gonna gain from a lot of these guys is going to be insane. And I can't wait for you guys to watch it all. Right now, we're gonna head back to the office. I've got a couple more cool things to go through, so stay tuned. There's an approach that I take where, like this interview process, right? It's obviously a great way for me to introduce myself to new businesses and my mindset isn't trying to get them to say yes right away. Like for Sharon, for example, like I'm, I'm not fussed on whether she wants to work with us or not. Um, it was just a great pleasure to, to talk with her then. And what I'm seeing now is that I'm having people reach out to me that I've spoken to a year ago and now they're wanting to start working with me. So regardless of when, you know, whether they say, yeah, I want to work with you this month, which half the time happens, I have the mindset of, I just want to plant the seed now and just start the conversation with almost everybody so that, you know, the top tier marketing and Cormac is always in the back of their minds so that when the time comes for them to say, do you know what, actually, I'm going to make that uh, decision. I'm going to work with an agency. Top tier is the first name that comes into their mind. And I'm starting to see the repercussions of doing that and having that mindset a year ago because a year later, these guys are actually reaching out to me and we're now onboarding a lot of these clients. It's a beautiful Friday. This is a great day today. Um, you were here for- um, NBN. NBN. Yeah, 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 yeah so love it. Just feed a rotter down that, make sure it's all good out in the street. And yeah. Laughing, mate. Too nice, easy. easy one for a Friday. Yeah, yeah. bloody oath. Super happy with it. Do you want to water or anything? No, oh, you don't? Yeah, Too easy. Thanks very much. Well, um, give us a shout if you need me for anything at all. So that's, we're getting ethernet and through Aussie Bro Broadband, shout out to those guys. Uh, internet's shocking at the moment, so we're switching it up and getting some heavy duty stuff, which is great for the guys. You guys are all pampered a little bit. No reason why, eh? Yeah. We always look like this. So good. Dude, she was, their whole crew is like the bubbliest, kindest, like friendliest environment. What? Um, it was so cool. And she was so like, just, I don't know, like her whole journey is like crazy. She's achieved so much. Yeah, she was, um, I think there was four in the store. And then she, she has a physical store and then she also has a warehouse as well which is insane. You're all good. Um, she's a warehouse for our online side. She's killing it. They had done a whole renovation. and just for the interview. It was just for the interview, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Connor's on a call at the moment. We've got Ben and Mark, who are like our managing digital strategists and then senior digital strategists. And we've got some exciting news around what I guess is happening with some of the new roles that are coming and who's moving up to what. We're having like, I guess like quality control. So Ben is basically watching what Connor does in a, in a call right now, um, just to kind of see where some of his flaws might be and how he could actually improve in his techniques of giving better advice um, and how to make sure that the clients are understanding exactly what's going on. So we're making sure that that quality control is there. Where's Mark? Mark's in another meeting. He's always busy. He's always on calls, this guy. But we've got something really cool coming up. I'm gonna interview. We've got an interview with you, Mads. Do you know that? Yeah, time to shine. Interview with Maddie and then an interview with Mark around what the hell these guys do because I don't know half the time if they're even working or if they're hardly working, but we'll see. We'll let you guys know what uh, these guys get up to day to day in their own words. I'm sitting here with Maddie, who is our digital strategist uh, here at Top Tier Marketing. Maddie has an extensive background in e-commerce, working at uh, Grace Labs for about two and a half years. 
um, or three, three years, three, three years. years, and now is working within our agency as a digital strategist, running ads for basically all of our fashion label uh, clients. You know, yeah. Um, so it's going to be really cool. I've got a couple questions to ask her that is going to allow any of our viewers to understand what it takes to be a digital strategist. Uh, and also gain a little bit of a perspective on Maddie's side uh, within the role that she's in. So Maddie, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, guys. Happy to be here. It's my first time interview on a vlog. On a vlog. <laughs> All right. Um, well, my first question is, uh, what types of brands are your specialty at the moment? Yeah, so at the moment, um, I have swimwear, sort of like more fast fashion clients, jewelry mm. and shoes. So yeah, all the fashion brands pretty much, um, which I love because love I get to look at beautiful content. I get to kind of be sort of window shopping while I'm at work, which uh -huh. is cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You get, you probably knock over five, you jump straight back onto their website and purchase yeah, a couple Yeah, I like keep that one. I know how much stock it is, I like that one. Yeah. You know all the discount codes too. <laughs> <laughs> So Mark typically doesn't prepare for these kinds of meetings. No, I do. Wins it. Are you prepared, have you? Well, you, get, you told me I was doing it last night at 4.59 p.m. No, I didn't. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Now, this is going to be for the IGTV. So this will be a proper like feature. Maddie's got her own interview. Mm -hmm. Trying to just give value to our followers. Welcome to another IGTV video. I'm sitting here with our managing digital strategist, Mark Lewis. Uh, Mark is going to be basically sharing his knowledge on what it's like to be in his role and how to help e-commerce brands scale. Thanks for joining me, Mark. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So my first question to you is what type of brands do you currently work with? So I work with a whole array of brands really uh, mm -hmm. anywhere from you know obviously fashion is what we specialize in yep. to supplements men's grooming uh, to outdoor adventure brands and so, how much does some of these brands spend in a month would you say uh, anywhere from you know ten thousand dollars a month up to you know hundred thousand dollars plus crazy mm -hmm. unreal um what would you say mm -hmm. has been your biggest achievements um so far this year and how did you make it happen so my biggest achievement this year um, would probably have to be when, a, a, and it's more a personal one, but when a client calls you and tells you that they're now hiring two more staff and it's not just going to be uh, them themselves running it, but they're actually uh, bringing more people into the business. Yeah. And that's all off the back of the ads that we're running. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a heartwarming moment to see yeah. that they have now uh, brought two more people into their business. So, yeah, that's really cool. shot our video on the Friday. Uh, I didn't get a chance to wrap up the end there. I got taken away in the last couple of meetings, but uh, that's why the quality in this video is a little bit down. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. You probably would have seen, obviously we went to White Bohemian. That is what I was talking about in my last couple of videos, which is the top tier show. Now that is a section right below this area called, you know, one of the playlists called the top tier show. And next month in July, we have some of the biggest brands on the Gold Coast joining us where we get to sit down and interview and share all of their knowledge and their success, both business owner wise and people in individual careers as well. And you get a little bit of an insight on how they achieve so much so far, their start, all that good stuff. So make sure you subscribe. If you did like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you have any burning questions that you want to see or be have it answered in the next couple of videos, please do leave a comment below. Other than that, I will see you in the next video.